Well, good evening, I think it is. <laughs> I want to extend a thank you from Daniel and Wendy for all of you guys making it out here again. It's wonderful to have you all. I want to express my father's uh, re warm regards. He was asked to perform this ceremony and he asked me to make it very clear he wishes he could be here um, with all of you to share in this moment. It's real exciting. It's been a year, a year ago, these two got married. And what a year it has been, has it not? Mm -hmm. Some of the reflection we had when Daniel and Wendy got married, they told me, and praying with Daniel a lot, and he said, when we get married, I want our marriage to be for three reasons. They wanted their marriage to glorify God. That's what they said, first of all. Mm -hmm. They wanted their families to draw closer to each other through their relationship. And they wanted their churches that they're a part of to grow cl closer in their relationship. Their verse that they chose, we have over here, uh, a cord of three strands is not easily broken. It's Ecclesiastes 4.9. And the purpose of this is a husband, a wife, and God woven together can take some serious weight that a husband and wife themselves just never will be able to. Mm -hmm. The Lord has shown this this year. We've been through a lot. All of us have been through a lot. Daniel and Wendy, you guys have been through a lot. Some of the reflection on that, we have seen brokenness, have we not? I have seen Daniel, we have seen Daniel break literally, very literally. We have seen Wendy. Wendy, you're one of the strongest people I've met. And we've seen her break to the point. Point most people can't even pull under or handle. I've seen Daniel break. As Daniel comes back and his brain's not there, and his mind's not there, not sure what's going on. And I've seen him break and come to the end of himself. And I've seen you guys, us, break as well. It's been a lot of breaking. A year later, here we are, not broken. A lot of breaking, but no, nothing's actually broken. In fact, we are here as a testament that, wait, we are together. We are strong. Why? One could explain this away as it is just some hard-fighting couple, which you are, or some wonderful family, which you are, but I think not. I think it is the cord of three strands is not easily broken. You can explain away all we want, but when I saw Wendy reach her very end, 
and have nothing less a new left a new wife married to a husband and now the husband will never be the same and I saw her sit there and say Lord I have no idea but I'm falling on you I am broken I'm done I can't go any further seen Daniel when Daniel wakes up and he doesn't remember this woman who loves him he can't even comprehend that she is showing love to him he's asking me what do I do I don't know this woman and she's controlling every aspect of my life like she has to <laughs> right he can't understand what's going on there he can't comprehend the love and I say Daniel what does the Bible say well God says I need to love my wife all right then so what are we gonna do we're gonna love my wife and it's a strand that's not ever broken first John 4 10 says this is real love not that we loved God but that he loved us and sent his son Jesus to be the payment for our sins it is love not based on who we are but that God loved us it wasn't love based on Wendy's love for for Daniel or Daniel's love for Wendy it was based on God's love for them that they chose at their hardest time to embrace and love like he loved and we're here they're not only not running away from each other or thinking of running away from each other on a new life they're gonna have they are saying we want to renew this because we are stronger than ever because we know our third strand will never break You guys made vows before the Lord Be to him to each other and before all of us and you guys are wanting to renew your vows right now Daniel do you have vows you would like to renew with your wife okay all right well we're gonna read a letter first um, Daniel would you like to read a letter yes to your yes wife? please involves a little bit of a nickname. <laughs> Dearest Wendelin, today it's been a year that we've been married. What has happened in the last year has been intense. How you have lived during this time has been without a doubt the most remarkable thing ever. I'm sure you understand my loss of memory from the last few years. What means the most to me is that I have begun to be so in love with you that I can't believe it. You mean so much that I don't possibly deserve you. I know that it sounds a little odd but I have no better way of, of saying it. Forever and always, I love you. <coughs> this involves a nickname also. <laughs> My dearest Daniel, this first year of marriage has proven to be one full of many undeserved blessings. The Lord has shown us the depths of his love and his intimate provision through each and every day. He has brought our families together and united us, creating an amazing bond. I am truly blown away by your love for me. You have been the ultimate example of a Christ-like love, patient, kind, and selfless. It's humbling to be your wife and exciting to be able to say 
I have found the one whom my soul loves. Daniel, I love you completely. <laughs> so with this testament of love between each other hey 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 <laughs> not on the lips <laughs> <laughs> the testament of love and the testimony themselves of what the lord has brought the amount of blessings he has brought would you two like to renew your vows to each other yes Wendy, in the presence of God and before our family, I take you to be my wife. You are truly a gift from God, and with his strength, I promise to spend the rest of my life treating you like the gift that you are. I will cherish you always. I will lead you and guide you as Christ leads me. I will be slow to anger and quick to listen. I will be a strong spiritual leader in our home. Through good times and bad, in joy and sorrow, that neither I nor you lose our love. I pledge to you my life as a faithful and loving husband until death do us part, forever and always, I love you. <clears throat> Daniel, in the presence of God and before our family and friends, I take you to be my husband. I promise to build a marriage with you that is founded on who Christ is and what he has done for us. I promise to pray for you and with you as we grow in our walk with him. I will be supportive and encouraging to you through all seasons of life, in times of need and times of abundance. Whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, in times of sorrow and times of joy. I promise to love, respect, and trust you, for I know that God has called me to serve beside you, seeking first and investing in his kingdom until death do us part. I love you completely, sacrificially, and unconditionally. These vows were not made lightly the first time. And they got a chance. The Lord gave them a chance to live them out firsthand. And show that He honors those who honor Him. He holds strong those who rely on Him. We have bands, anniversary bands. And these bands are cords wrapped together signifying the verse that was their wedding verse. Nonima, the first thing she said to Wendy when this accident happened is said, the Lord chose this verse for you and he is now giving you a chance to live it out. And so when renewing the vows, I think Daniel, here's a ring for your wife. As a testament to the Lord's faithfulness, and your love for her, you give her the symbol. And Wendy, as a testament to the Lord's faithfulness to you and your love for Daniel, you can give him the symbol. Daniel and Wendy desire to have their lives live for the Lord first in everything. And so as they're renewing their vows, they are 
going to break bread and remember the Lord's sacrifice for them as the very first thing they do as a couple, just like they did when they were married. So if you guys would like to step over here. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would bless this as we are together. I pray that you would bless that. We ask for this in the name of Christ. Amen. Father, we want to thank you. Um, we know that the bread represents your body that was broken for us and we know that the wine represents your blood that was spilled for us and these things enabled us to have a relationship with you and father we pray that in our marriage we would continue to honor you and bring you glory in your name amen <laughs> sorry it's a dumb time for that to happen is it yours <laughs> yeah <laughs> There seems to be a little bird. <laughs> Taking a sip. Thinking of the purpose of marriage, and from the Bible, I'm going to read Ephesians 5.22, and it says, Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is head of the wife, even as Christ is head of the church, his body, and is himself its Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, so that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. In the same way, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes it and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church. Your marriage is a picture of Christ's love for us. And you are to show love to one another and submit to one another as you are submitting to the Lord and loving the Lord. You just broke bread and remembered his death for you. And so your lives are a living sacrifice to him. And that is your desire. And the Lord has blessed you both and all of us because of that. I want to personally thank the two of you for the sacrifice you have made and how it's affected my own life. Many of us can say that. I get this privilege. The first year has been rough and difficult, and the blessings, as Wendy proclaimed out of her own mouth, have been without number in my own life. I will never be the same because of your faithfulness to the Lord. We will never be the same. Your prayers for your marriage have been answered in mighty ways the first year alone. I see family closer together. I see the Lord being glorified in your lives and our churches are closer together in mighty ways. Continue to seek after the Lord with all your hearts and the blessings will not cease. My blessing for you is from the Bible as well. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. 
as he has been this year. Mm. May he turn his face towards you and give you mm. peace. Let me pray a blessing for you guys, and then we will be dismissed, and you guys can finally kiss each other on the lips or whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pray. <laughs> Father, we are thankful. We're thankful for you, your love. You came to this world not to judge the world, but that you may show yourself as the sacrifice of love for them. We thank you for Wendy and Daniel and how much love you've shown through them, that their marriage is strong, founded on you, unbreakable, founded upon you, full of blessings, what others would consider a catastrophe. Out of their own mouths, they say this is a blessing and they wouldn't change a thing. I've never heard either of them ask once, why did this happen? But praise you, Lord, for your goodness to them. Lord, we do ask that you'd bless them and keep them. Let your face shine upon them and turn your face towards them and be gracious. For the rest of their life, may their marriage honor you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Daniel, you may kiss your bride again. <laughs>
What you guys did, you took an all day double hike slash six hour drive. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and in Daniel, she's discovered a wonderful counterpart who equals her loving and supportive nature. Um, D Daniel definitely doesn't leave her wanting for a kitchen dance companion, still true, nothing has changed, um, or a car karaoke um, compatriot. <laughs> when I first met Daniel, he impressed Wendy and I with his attentiveness. Um, and this left a lasting impression with us, Daniel always being a gentleman. Uh, Daniel and Wendy's patience for their match has now been rewarded, punctuated by their endless love notes and fitting nicely into each other's family. Mm -hmm. They appreciate and deserve each other's love and attention. Daniel, I am passing the protectiveness off to you from here on out. If encouragement helps people to change their stories, then these two have changed each other's for the better. You guys have impacted so many people's lives um, through your story and your testimony. Um, definitely for the better. I love you both, and I guess I'll wait for the toast. Have you guys poured your champagne yet? <laughs> or your Martinelli's. Or your Martinelli's. <laughs> I'll give you a moment to do that. There's Martinelli's and champagne on each table. Um, so we'll wait a second, and then we can toast with Wendy and Daniel. But thank you for being my brother-in-law. For staying strong and hanging in there through this, <laughs> um, but I'm so impressed by you guys and your love, the ability to fall in love after everything that you've been through. All right, all right. Yeah. yeah. Daniel, you don't remember your last wedding. I was your best man, and I got to give a speech. The last time I gave a um, best man speech. I expressed to everybody um, how excited I was to meet Wendy for the first time. I expressed uh, that I was super excited until I realized that you're probably going to marry her and realize that you fell head over heels for her like nothing before. You still are. This is you. Um, and I said I switched into protective mode of I need to make sure that you consider this very highly. You are nuts about this woman and you're going to spend the rest of your life with and I shared how many times I've asked you through the whole trip, are you sure this is the woman you want to marry? Are you sure this is the woman? Because this is a decision you are going to stay with forever. And you talked to me before probably, I think it was a couple weeks, no, maybe right before you got engaged. You never had an answer on why you should marry her until that night. And that was the night you gave an answer for it. And I said, fantastic, I agree, I think you should marry her. And it was for sure. Uh, I thought, I told Lindsay I thought you should have married her from the first time you met her. But uh, I wasn't going to tell you that. You had to make this decision. After your accident, and you couldn't remember, 
and you had no idea what's going on or who this woman is. You had no idea that there, you couldn't remember where you live. You thought you lived in Thailand, um, right? <laughs> and you would ask me over and over, who is this woman I'm with? And I would explain to you what you explained to me on why you should marry this woman. And I told you, you don't remember her, but you will fall in love with her, and she is the right woman for you. And you know that. And we went over that probably, shoot, 150 times. <laughs> I'm serious, 150 times. And I'm so thankful that I asked you every time. I said at my best man speech, the reason I know for a fact at that moment she's the right woman is you married her. I asked Daniel, jokingly, um, before this, I said, are you sure this is what we're going to do? <laughs> and he just gives me the biggest smile, yes, this, I'm sure. And I said, good, because she's your wife, buddy. You better marry her. <laughs> that time, if you said no, we were going to have a different talk. And I was going to speak up a little bit about it. Um, I'm so thankful that the two of you got together. I expressed that. I got to be up there and help, I guess, officiate or lead along the, the second wedding. Um, I'm so thankful the Lord brought you two together. I'm so thankful that he made it very clear to each of you why you should get married. And that's why I asked you so many times. Because if you weren't sure three months in, how long would it have lasted? And your answer was you both knew very clear that the Lord wanted you to get married. Get married, And here we are, a year later, gone through a ton of things, stronger than ever, blessed more than ever. Your life will never be the same as it was, and that's a good thing. We don't know what it will turn out to be, but it will be awesome. So, cheers to both of you. Cheers. Here, here. Um, I'll keep it brief. I would just like to say that I have never met another couple that inspires me as much as Wendy and Daniel have over the last two years. Um, it has been an honor to spend time with you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I love you both so much, and I can't wait to see what life is going to do next, or what, where God is going to take you next in life. Um, I just hope I'm, I get to see it. It's been, it's been wonderful, and I can't wait. I love you both. <laughs> um, that we're very grateful that y'all were willing to come out. Uh, it was perfect. Thank you for that. And uh, here's to you guys. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>
Oh, you guys got to shove it in each other's face. You didn't do it last time. Yeah, it's a vegan chocolate chip. Fifteen times shoved in each other's face. We get it. like the vegan chocolate cake. Feed each other. Not bad. <laughs> 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 Faster, Daniel. <laughs> 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 Careful with camera. Right <laughs> 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 oh, you guys didn't do this pretty good. Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> Who's the mean one here? Who's the sweet one? <laughs> <laughs> I got it all over my <laughs> No, suck it off his nose. <laughs> 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 The family photo. Can you see my <laughs> Wait, that was a bad thing? <laughs> um, so we have a vegan cake, is uh, a chocolate vegan cake, and then this is a strawberry shortcake. So we'll uh, cut it up and then we'll have some plates here. 
And then I think we have some forks also. What if the, you're medium height, tall, thing? or yeah, not vegan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I think we have forks. We're not using it. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, if you like cake, you can we'll hand out some plates and things. <laughs> can you get me a cake? I'm going to go get forks. You want cake? I have a Thank you. Cake down. Well, at least that came out first. <laughs> <laughs>